right, so it is um, 7 a.m. It is a Monday morning, and in today's video, guys, we're gonna be doing like a day in the life of Calvin. I suppose it's more like a day in the life of a car dealer. That's probably what the title is gonna be, all right? So first job of the day is I'm going gym. Right, so we are now on the M1 heading north, like from the direction of Luton towards Milton Keynes, and um, obviously Bink is located in Milton Keynes, and I always like to try and squeeze in a gym session. It's not always in the morning. I prefer to go gym in the morning because you sort of get it out of the way, uh, but sometimes I train in the afternoon or in the evening or whatever, uh, but I always, always prioritize the gym session. It's so important. I've been going to the gym pretty much daily since I was like 18, man. So if you do not go to the gym, one thing I would say is if you if you feel rubbish in yourself, because I know for me, if I don't go to the gym, I feel rubbish, man. But if you are if you are somebody that's feeling rubbish in yourself and you don't regularly exercise, honestly, it's so important that you just you do that, man. It's such a such an important part of my life. I always, always make it a priority. So currently, because of like the change of routine and like moving binker and stuff, um, I've actually just been trying out a few different gyms, just checking out a few local gyms. There is so many gyms in Milton Keynes, so there's plenty plenty to choose from. And today I'm going to a gym called Fierce Gym, which is more of like a I don't want to say bodybuilder sort of gym, but it's, there's a lot more weights in there. It's more weight orientated rather than sort of um, cardio orientated. So I'm going there today. They've actually got a car in the gym, which is which is proper cool. I've seen it already. It's, it seems like quite an amazing gym, and it's really really local to to Bink to the new Binker as well. So um, yeah, just get a gym out of the way. Binker opens at nine. And um, we'll just let the day unfold, yeah? Oh, the S-Class, by the way, this is just a bit of stock. So we, I don't know if you remember a few weeks ago, I bought two of these uh, off of a chauffeur company. One of them had done 190,000 miles. That was the one I'd done a video on. And then this one had done 130,000 miles. Uh, the 190,000 mile car sold straight away. This one's still up sale. So I've been running around in it. And you know what? I am absolutely loving it. It's a proper nice car. Right, so this is it. We are at Fierce Gym now. Do you want to show you up, mate, as well? Yeah. There. Flip that up the right way. There it is. Look, fierce gym. Time. Oh, it's back upside down again now, isn't it? To get on it. Let's go. Two hours later. That's it. We are recording. So yeah, gym done. It's wicked going gym in the morning because you know you get to have a shower. Just get it all out of the way, and then you can get on it with the work situation. So it is almost nine o'clock. I'm gonna quickly go grab some food on the way to work and. Um, yeah, let's go see what Monday's got to bring. <laughs> Back on camera, still not a bin car, but um, I was just looking on the hunt for a bit of food locally. And bear in mind, I'm still sort of working out the local area. I'm not too familiar with this area at all. So since we've moved in, I'm still just getting out and about and working out what, what is where. But yeah, there's literally a Tesco's next to, what well, I say next to, right, very close to, is that camera a bit dark? It's very dark, zoom out, count, zoom out. Very close to the gym and they do cooked chicken. So I just bought a whole cooked chicken, uh, which I'll have throughout the day and a few eggs. So perfect. Can you get through that? Yeah, there we go. There we go, loads of room. Right then, so that is gym done. Uh, let's go see what's going on inside. Obviously, my parking's here, so I don't rate my parking. <laughs> but we're gonna be getting like lines painted here. This all, obviously, this is all waiting to be cleaned. So once this is all cleaned, we can get yellow lines painted. I say yellow lines, I'd rather have white lines, but the whole line in the yard is uh, yellow, so we're gonna keep with that theme, and then the whole parking situation will be organized. Right, Clay? Strange little boy over there, on it. LA Barbers as well, hashtag on it. <laughs> so, um, we've got, Pavel in reception working on that. In fact, I can show everyone reception. We'll do that as well. Little one series pulling up, punter on it. In here, we've had a load of stuff delivered. So we've got a load of tiles, uh, floor tiles for reception, ceiling tiles as well, which is super handy. I'm looking forward to seeing the ceiling done. And plumbed in a washing machine for the, for the valeters. Again, all this is just temporary to just get us by. Obviously, there's a lot of sorting out to be done. Something that I really want to do is just line these cars up a little bit better. I started doing it yesterday. Um, but I just want to get that in. In fact, that Integra, I had a comment about that the other day, one second. Reception's just through there, mate, all right? Little temporary receptionist doing all right, actually. It's working well. Here we go, Regan Bourne 3249. Video coming on that tag in the background. And then I replied to his comment, 
I'll get hashtag on it, mate. So what we're going to do, just for you, Regan, we're going to pull the Integra out um, shortly. It, uh, since it's been moved from the old yard, it's just sat here the whole time. So we need to pull it out, give it... In fact, let's go for a little wander over there now. Yeah, what a cool car, man. Let me get them lights on quick. Yeah, what a cool car. 54 plate. Obviously, it's an import. I think this car was imported back in 2006, which is pretty good because it means that um, it spent most of its life here in England. Uh, obviously, red interior, white exterior. It is a facelift car. It is a facelift car, isn't it? And K20 engine. Yeah, we need to get that, that car fired up and take it out, out for a drive shortly. Uh, here we've got a 56 plate BMW Z4 that actually came in last night. I think it's got an issue with the roof or the window. I'm not too sure. Don't know loads about it, but the reason why that's in here is because, yeah, it's the window. The window's down, uh, drive side window. The CS, uh, obviously I've done a video on this recently. This is a one owner from new M3 CS, it's done, I can't remember the mileage, about 40,000 miles. Really, really nice example. Interlagos blue with the cream leather interior as well. Really, really nice spec car. Uh, it was obviously like a final edition M3 2006. That car is actually up for sale with collecting cars right now. They do look sort of online auctions. I thought I'd just give it a go. I was chatting to Ibby, my friend in the car trade recently. We've done a video on his F10 M5. And he said he was trying his M M5 at uh, collecting cars. I've never tried one there before, so it'd be interesting to see how well that does in auction. Special thing, so yeah. In fact, whilst we're stood here, let's wander through to reception. Should we go through this way? We'll go through this way. Yes, we shall. So the worktops have arrived, which is brilliant. They've finished doing all the plastering, so we've had a, the whole reception area plastered. The back wall there plastered as well. I, don't know, I suppose it's it's a clean finish, isn't it? The reception desk itself has been plastered, plasterboarded everywhere, just looking a lot fresher, a lot cleaner. Uh, the ceiling's still yet to be put in. Pavel, annoyingly, he had, I say annoyingly, annoyingly he had an operation last week. He's absolutely fine, it's only a small operation, but that's put him off the tracks for a week. And then his mate Chris has been busy doing other stuff. So we've had a, the end two guys pretty much full time on this job. But yeah, they're making, they are, to be fair to them, they're making unbelievable progress. So I'm super pleased with how everything's moving. And like I keep saying, in the meantime, we've got a little temporary reception area anyway. So, Amar, don't fall over, yeah? We need you, we need you, mate. Uh, so yeah. It's, um, it's fine, it's absolutely fine. In here, obviously, I don't know if I've shown you like this, and I'm not sure about the progress, but yeah, we've got the suspended ceiling in here. It's obviously, just, it's pretty much tied to the roof of the building, so it hangs off the roof of this building. And then we've got these sort of matte finish tiles, which I think are gonna look really nice once it's all done. The Binker Retail area, I'm considering about having a little rebrand for Binker Retail, I'm not entirely sure. At the minute, it's dark blue for Binker, and then like a, a lighter blue for Binker Retail. I might go for green on the Binker Retail, not entirely sure, uh, but that will sort of follow up at a later video, all right? Got the transit, I've talked about that a lot. I obviously don't really want to part with that, because <laughs> I don't know. We are, I think I mentioned in a previous video that I am planning to, we, or we are, not me, we are as a, as a group again, planning to go to uh, the Nürburgring again. I might take that again because it's such a decent van and I think it'd be, yeah, it'd be fine to do the tri trip in. That's the M135i, that's obviously the Planet of Dreams car. That's going to be going to VRS this week because, yeah, we need to get a few bits done on that and pick up the S5 and the other car, which you lot don't actually know about yet. That way, <laughs> just people are pulling up, they don't sort of don't know where to go, which is uh, a little bit irritating because I want the site to flow as good as possible, but we're waiting on signage and stuff like that. So a uh, little cries of crossfire just arrived there. Is that interesting? It's quite interesting. Good value for money. It must be like less than four grand. And in here, we've got the Alpina and the E46 M3. I was chatting to the... <laughs> so the reason why I'm filming this video today, yeah, is because I was planning to film a video on the M3, right? Which is a wonderful car. So I've begun I reckon that person's come to see me. Yeah, so I had, I had Luke uh, from Worthing, who was the winner of the M3. He was booked in to come down this morning to come and collect his car. And he's messaged me this morning to say, Calvin, do you know what? I just want to cash prize instead. It's not really worth my while uh, keeping the M3. I've got a car already. This is such a common scenario with Planet of Dreams. It's a little bit frustrating. So um, he's now going to take a cash prize for that. The other winner of the, the Alpina, which was, was also won uh, recently on Planet of Dreams, uh, Luke from York, is that right? Or no, sorry, Lewis from York. And then Luke from Worthing is the M3, and Lewis decided he wanted a cash prize as well. So these cars are both going to get bought by a car. They're going to go up for sale. And uh, yeah, we'll just... Oof. The point I'm making anyway is I was hoping to film a video today with Luke on the M3, and uh, it didn't happen. But 
on the flip side, we're doing this video instead. So I did mention the uh, Megane RS. So obviously we bought that from a customer recently, Will, who come down with the supercharged M3. We've had it cleaned up. We've got photos of it, advertised it, put it on the net, and we've had a crazy amount of interest in that car. That is a really, really nice example. So I'm pretty sure at some point soon, that car is going to be gone. Do you know what? I'm going to stop talking. I need to pull out that Integra. I want to line them cars up in there better as well. Let's just get the shutter door up, get that Integra out, get it cleaned, and then fast forward a couple of hours and hit the road in the Integra. That's it, on the button, typical Japanese stuff. Got a, uh, it's got a petrol light on the dash. Uh, it needs a bloody good cleaning there. Hasn't been moved for a few weeks, so yeah. Let's get on it. All right, Sammy. All right, mate. Are you the new boy, Aya? What's your name? Finley. Finley, good to meet you, man. And you. You live locally, yeah? Yeah, just on the road. So you're just going to be helping out doing a bit? Yeah. Sammy, Sammy's showing you the ropes, yeah? Yeah. That's good, man. That's good. You like cars then, yeah? Yeah, but dreams. Is, that, is it really? You like your Hondas? And you, you watch the channel as well, yeah? Yeah. Wicked, yeah, man. Yeah, as well. Oh, sick. Yeah. And you're into cars, you're a local lad. Yeah, i got a couple of myself. So, what, oh, really? Yeah, I've got a Mark 6 Fiesta, just a bit of a run around. Mm -hmm. And then I've got a Mark 2 Fiesta. Oh, really? Keep away. Nice. Do a bit of work on so, it. So you like your Fords? Yeah. Wicked, man. Well, welcome to Binker. <laughs> cool, so we'll leave the boys with the uh, Integra, and I'm going to continue moving them cars inside. And then, I've said this a million times, we're going to pop back in a couple of hours and uh, take the Integra out for a little drive, all right? Um, I ain't got a mic attached to me. Hopefully this mic can pick me up all right. So another job we've got to do today is photograph a pair of these cars. So I've got the M3 key in my hand. Let's pull the M3 out first, get some photos of it for the Beaker website. So that's it. That's all right there. So this is going to be the, the, the final photo spot when we eventually get everything sorted. Um, we're going to simply get that area there tidied up, get some signage on the fence, and this is just like going to be, it's a perfect sort of location. The problem with a photograph area at the old site, I don't know if you look, remember this, we had a photograph area all made, but it, because we were so short of parking spaces, we ended up using that area as parking spaces, which meant that it wasn't going to be, the, it, it was no longer the photograph area. So, uh, whereas here, we have no intentions of using this area as car storage. This is just going to be an access to, uh, in and out of the yard. So this will, this will be a perfect photograph area for photographing the cars. So when we photograph a car, I know this is basics, but I see a lot of ads on eBay and stuff, and I look at them and I think, come on, man, you need to do better photographs now. Even if you're selling a car privately, put some energy into your photographs. It's, it's not difficult. It is a bit, takes a bit of effort, but it ain't difficult. Generally, what we do, is um, I am using a camera here. A lot of the staff at Binker, they use their phones. Phone cameras are pretty good, uh, but for the benefit of this video, I am gonna be using a camera. We do a wide one of the front corner, about there, and then we work, work our way around the whole car. So we do a set of wide shots, a set of close-up shots, a set of the wheels, and then we'll go into the interior. Again, set of wide shots, set of close shots. Get, same thing again under the bonnet, and then you've got a full selection of photos for the website. Um, <laughs> car's kind of in the way. <laughs> yeah, for a car that's done 175,000 miles, it is unbelievable. When we first bought this car, obviously I bought it as a project car for Planet of Dreams. Uh, it wasn't in a, in a very good state. It's pretty much had a full respray. The wheels have been done. Uh, we've had the interior painted as well. So it's, it's a lot nicer now than it's ever been. Um, for a car that's done that many miles, it is it's bloody unbelievable really, isn't it? It is kind of, I don't want to use the word annoying because that's not what I want. I don't want to, um, I don't want the winners to seem like I'm disappointed with them because I'm not at all. Uh, but it is nice. Like the exciting bit for me with Planet Dreams is handing the winner a car. Like that's the best bit. That's what we all, even like, for videos, it's just exciting. So I am kind of gutted that uh, Luke hasn't, is it Luke or Lewis? I keep getting them mixed up, Luke and Lewis. It's Luke, isn't it? <laughs> I'm a bit gutted that Luke hasn't turned up today. It would have been nice to meet him. Uh, but, you know, I fully understand, man. I am supportive of people that 
want to have cash prizes. The majority of people, is it, is it a mix? Sort of maybe, it's probably more like 50-50. A lot of people have obviously collected their car when they win it, uh, but every now and then we get people not collecting their cars. And so far, the last two cars, and that's been the case. It is what it is, it's fine. So yeah, full wide set of shots. I like to come back quite far just to get that sort of depth of field on the, the photos. Just looks unbelievable, this car. They're such good looking cars. So then after I've done that, as I, I go around the, the wheels, do a set, set of shots on the wheels. Two, three, four. I tend to just bend down and sort of get square on with the wheels. The old phone going. No idea who that is. I put my name on like a go compare sort of website or comparison website uh, for electricity bills for Binker, and my phone has not stopped ringing. That's like the biggest mistake ever. I've sorted it out now, but they're still harassing me. So uh, yeah, so that's now done. We'll then do a set of detail shots, just sort of a load of close-ups. Obviously, photos are important, but you know what? <laughs> There's so many things that are important when you're buying and selling cars, so it's also important to get these jobs done, get them done efficiently, get them done decently, but don't spend too much time. Yeah, I always say to staff, don't spend too much time doing any one thing. Let's get things done, get moving, keep on it, and um, get on to the next one. So I'm going to run around, do a set of detailed shots. Hashtag on it sticker, that's a big feature. It's, it's meaningless to most people. Most people look at these cars online, but to the CCD audience, it's important, isn't it? The Hamman exhaust, I think I'll turn the engine off for that. That's it. Arches, massive feature. And to be honest, when I film a video, this is exactly how I'd film a video as well. So when I do like a cinematic scene on a car, I'll do a set of wide shots, run my way around with the camera, set of narrow shots, just getting all the details, and then do the same on the interior, just to show everyone the full uh, scale of the car. So um, I think that's good enough for the details. We've picked out a good amount there, fog light. Get the fog light in there as well. We'll get the bonnet up, do some bonnet shots, engine shots even. Oh, the BMW badge, that needs, that needs one, doesn't it? Obviously we put brand new BMW badges on this. Under the bonnet, it's very rare that you see one of these engines. Well, annoyingly, the battery just went dead on that camera, so we've had to swap cameras, put some new batteries in and stuff. Uh, but yeah, I was saying, uh, the engines on these cars, that's what I was saying, they never seem to have any oil leaks. Like for a car that's done 170 odd thousand miles, this thing is bone dry under the bonnet, which is just always nice to see in it. So a little close up of that M badge there. Shut the bonnet. Then on the interior, we've actually had this whole interior resprayed, which I think I just mentioned, uh, but it just looks a lot better in size, especially again, considering the mileage. So we're gonna go wide on the seats, wide on the dashboards, wide on the rear seats. That's gonna be all right. And again, just work our way around the interior, go around to the other side. You know what, this camera ain't nowhere near as good as that camera. <laughs> I wonder how good my phone is. Phone actually ain't bad at all. Might have to switch to phone, whatever. Uh, so yeah, then I'll do a few detail shots. So like the SMG gear knob. Close up of the steering wheel, which is surprisingly tidy. Uh, close up of the dash, for certain. And then um, specs, so it's got the sort of silver grey dash inserts there, so we'll get a shot of them. Harman Kardon sound, we'll get a shot of that. The M3 door seals, nice feature that is. Sunroof, of course. Heated seats, massive feature that is, or massive spec option even. And then sometimes I like to just jump in the back of the car. <sighs> Try to anyway. <laughs> and just get some shots sat in the rear. 
you seem to pick up a lot more detail when you sat in the rear of a car. That's it. Oh, that's it. I think anyone who looks at this car through an advert, like Berem, just considering that person has never seen it on social media, never heard of Calvin's car, or never heard of Binker, and they just see an advert online, and they just look at it and think, 170,000 miles, I'm gonna go look at it, I'll just go look at it. They're gonna turn up, and they're gonna be like, what the hell is the story behind this car? Why is this car so mint? <laughs> it is, <laughs> even the interior, like it's, it's just too clean considering the mileage, as I've said a million times. Uh, and then on that note, always get a shot of the mileage as well. And then a few shots of the dials, because again, that's a massive feature on this car. Little M badge at the bottom there. That's it for photos on the M3. So I'm gonna park the M3 back up now, probably gonna put it in the main unit. The Alpine is actually, it needs a clean, so we can't photograph that just yet. The boys are still cleaning the Integra, so I'm kind of hoping that they've done that now, so we can get out for a little drive in that. That's it, the Integra is clean now. Look at that. Look at that, man. Looking a lot better. Do you put petrol in it? That's all right, that's fine. Oh, well done. Oh, that's looking a lot better on it. Well done, Sammy. with that massive wing on the back. They just look unbelievable, they really stand out. And these Recaro seats, what a feature they are. So uh, value-wise, I'm sort of shouting as I do this because it is quite loud in here. They weigh about 1,250 kilos, by the way. It's a very, very light car and there is not very much uh, sound deadening, as you can probably imagine. So uh, white dials as well, which I probably have pointed out in previous videos before. Loads of nice little features, but yeah, values, they start at about 10, about, and for that you're going to get one with, with over 100,000 miles and this car here has done 87,000 miles which is decent mileage for the age of the car. It is a HPI clear car as well which is brilliant and just such a great thing to drive. The roads are currently very busy. I'm filming this right near the end of the day now and it's, it's been a busy day so I just had to let's sort of recap over the day. Obviously went gym. We've had quite a productive day. We've, we've We've achieved quite a lot, so we sold a couple of cars at Bing Car. And then, funny enough, I just uh, had someone look at the Alpina. He said he might come back tomorrow. He's got a part exchange of Mercedes CLS, so I'll let you know if he does buy that. Uh, and it's currently dirty, which is annoying. So he's turned up, it's dirty, but he's, he's one of my subscribers apparently. So he's like, I know the car, I'm excited about it. So I've uh, just got to sort things out my end, and I might be back tomorrow. So be interesting to see if he comes back. Uh, my day from now is so we close at five o'clock. I don't stop working though. I go home and I work. <laughs> but what I do uh, usually once a week as well, which I'm doing tonight, is uh, my cousin's actually a boxing coach at a quite a popular gym in Luton. So I do boxing once a week as well. Going back to what I said earlier about the gym, I think it's so important that I don't know, go and train. And I'm not a like, big boxer. Like, I'm not, not trying to be some pro boxer, but I think it's just good to keep active, keep fit, and just keep, I don't know, just, just experimenting or trying different types of um, fitness stuff, I suppose. So. Yeah, I look forward to doing that. But yeah, the, the 
Integra Type R. I think it was well worth getting this on the channel today. We're giving it a good clean up. I've got new photos of this today as well. So at the minute we're trying to re-photograph all the cars at the new site. That's kind of been a hell of a job. So we're just slowly getting through all the cars. So much to do at the minute. It is ridiculous, crazy man. It's dealing with customers, trying to work on the progression or the, or the development of Binger as well, getting like sorting out the builds and stuff like that. There's a lot going on, but it's all positive stuff, man. It's good. It's very, very good. It's all exciting. Uh, but yeah, guys, I think I'm going to wrap it up. Leave it as that. This roundabout is, uh, is a very big roundabout. Lots of traffic lights on it, and it gets very busy in the evenings. But currently, it's not very busy at all. You sort of wish that you was in a real. <laughs> I wish I was in a real drive car with nothing else on the road right now. That roundabout would be a right laugh. But yeah, Stony Stratford, oh, sorry, Old Stratford is where we're entering now. We've got the Hyundai dealership there on the left. And I'm still getting to know the local area. So even with filming, I'm heading out on the roads. Don't really know where I'm going. Trying to suss it all out. Trying to find good roads for videos. But there's plenty of nice places around here. Plenty to soak in. Plenty to learn about. So it'll all happen uh, in good time over the uh, coming weeks on my channel, all right? So guys, I'm gonna wrap it up and leave it as that, I think. I don't know what else to say. You know what, I thought I'd just end the video back here at Binker. I've got a punter there in the background on it. Uh, buying a car, I think. So yeah, I thought I'd end the video here back at Binker. Look at that, look at that Type R looking super, super fresh. White Type R amongst all them white vans. It's been a productive day, so it is nearly the end of the day. Now we actually close at five o'clock, which I think I might have just included in the drive out section of this video. The roads were busy, man. I was trying to have some fun in the Type R and it's like, it's just, I wasn't having much luck at all. So we photographed the M3, which is now going on the website. We photographed the, the Integra Type R as well, uh, which is a lot better. Got an Instagram photo shoot done on the M3 CS. So we're gonna be telling the world on Instagram shortly about the, the fact that that is now available to buy on collecting cars. I think by the time this video goes live, it'll probably be sold. Um, so it'd be interesting to see how that goes. Sold depending on how many bidders they get. But if it doesn't sell there, then we'll advertise it for sale here. I've parked up all these cars like in a nicer line, just wanted to kind of get all the M3s together, to be honest with you, because it looks a lot better. Obviously at the minute, priorities are continuing to trade, which I keep saying, that's super important. You know, everyone's got to get paid. And um, videos, filming videos, trying to do two videos a week, keeping that momentum going and pushing forward with the progress of the yard, all right? So everything's going really well. Keep, imagine to keep it all, keep the ball rolling with everything. I think that's a, pretty much it. My plans usually in the evenings are, I work, man. So I finish work at Binker, I go home, I've got a computer at home, an office at home, and I continue just trying to be uh, proactive, just productive where I possibly can, because it's important, man. I've tried to use up every hour of every, or every minute of every day where I can, just keep pushing things on, man. Especially times like right now, I've got so much happening that, um, yeah, I ain't, got, I ain't got time to chill. So yeah, I'll generally go home, Tonight I'm gonna to do a bit of boxing, have a bit of food, and then the evening can, can commence and work can begin again, all right? So guys, I'm gonna wrap it up, leave it at that. Thank you very, very much for watching. If you wanna see more of this sort of style of video, I don't mind doing more. It's um, very involving, like I've had a camera on me most of the day today, but it's pretty good. And I think you lot will like it. So yeah, let me know if you wanna see more of this in the comments below. I'm gonna wrap it up, leave it at that. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did like this video, do me a favor, hit like, hit subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next video, bye. So here I am, um, it is evening time on my computer now, just sorting a few bits out. But uh, something that I didn't mention that was, it is quite exciting, is um, I've just had a, a Zoom call with a TV producer about being on a little TV show. So I think it'd be quite cool. It's not just me, it's me, my missus and Kai. Uh, so we just had a little Zoom call with a TV, TV producer. And I've done little bits on telly over the years, nothing worth talking about. So, but this is quite a, a quite a big part on a TV show. So if I get it, it'd be quite cool. And it actually came off the back of all of these videos that I've done recently. So a lot of positive stuff come off, off the back of this, this whole new yard, like moving yards and doing all this stuff with, with Binker and stuff. And hopefully off the back of that as well, I'll get a little roll on telly. Since filming this video, the black E46 M3 is now sold. The grey one that you briefly saw in the unit, that's also sold. And then the M3 CS, the highest bid we got at collecting cars was £26,000, which was below our reserve. So we advertised it ourselves at Binker, and it sold straight away for £33,000.